My name's Tracy Proctor. I've lived uh, in this house for about 18 years now. I never noticed at first the going-ons until my children moved out. First of all, I get a feeling this house doesn't like men. It's drove, I can't have a relationship, it's drove every man away. There's so many stories. My friend won't come round unless I'm here. She won't go upstairs. Yeah. And I just, my, my children don't visit. <laughs> right, this one, my living space, my living room, really cosy. Yeah. I used to get on my sofa here, television there. And my son's bedroom, that's where he slept. And it happened nearly, not every night, but most nights. And... Just put telly on and what did I hear? Walking. Just walking round and I was so shocked because I really thought it was my son. My friends weren't sitting here with me. Yeah, and it's, it's always cold, no matter if you get fires on or anything. So I've had to move my table, my dining table out of that room into here and now I'm in that space there. Yeah, I'm not saying things don't go on in there, but at least I don't hear the footsteps which comes from above here. Right, this is my doll's house, right? This and every piece of furniture in here is placed, it's like a showroom, absolutely gorgeous. Knife, forks, it's got everything in it. A Couple of days ago, um, when I checked everything, fine. Well, this morning, I came in and the door was open. <laughs> and I could have cried. It's as if someone has been messing about with it, playing, but a couple of days ago, it won't like this. It's gonna take me a while to sort it out. I can sit with no telly on nothing, and I just feel like I'm not alone. Do you know what I mean? I just feel there's something there, and I should really talk out, but then I think, oh, God, if somebody heard me talking to myself. But I, it's, it's a comfort.